something. They'll back up and they can't see what they're backing into and then they'll hit something and then they'll lurch right, like they'll jump forward like, oh my God, something just bit me in the butt. She's not like that at all. She's just like, oops, my bad. Danielle at Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses here and today we're gonna take Gracie out for a ride. Um, we have had her for sale for about uh, two months now and she's ready to go to a new home so today um, we actually were able to get her into the Dixie auction which is uh, next weekend. Oh this weekend actually this weekend Thanksgiving weekend it's a huge auction um, People come from all over to show off their horses. Um, it is not a slaughter auction. It is not a feedlot auction. It's nothing like that at all. Because um, most people, when they think of auctions, they think of slaughterhouses and feedlots and bad horses and stuff. No, this is an auction where people from all over the country come together for like three days and do all sorts of exhibitions. They have trail riding, they've got obstacle courses, they've got carriages, competitions, and they really show off their horses as, as far as like their breeding stables and stuff like that to get their name out there. So I decided to put Gracie in. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, she will be sold uh, either way. Um, she has a hip number, I think it's like 596 or something like that. She uh, will be there on Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, we're going to be there all day. Uh, I'm gonna show up probably Friday um, not with her she's gonna stay here but I'll probably show up Friday and get her stall all set up and everything and make sure that all the numbers are done and blah 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 all that good stuff so that way when we come on Saturday um, it'll be easy and I can relax and she can relax and we can really maybe do a couple of the obstacle courses and really show her off um, she's gonna be my little unicorn that day so she'll have like ribbons and bows and she'll be all pretty and dressed up just like Jumanji <laughs> um, so yeah today I got to get some pictures because um, all the pictures that I have are older they're when there's leaves on the trees and I want to make sure that um, people on the Facebook page of the Dixie auction can see her in her real light today now um, which is what I would want really <laughs> so um, I'm gonna set up the camera in a bunch of different places um, I say the camera, I'm going to set up my phone because <laughs> I use my uh, my Galaxy uh, S10 Plus for this, um, which is why some of my, my videos are a little hazy because I have a funky little screen on the front that kind of makes it hazy sometimes. But anyway, that's what I got. I don't have anything else. So if anybody wants to send me like a camera to use to review, I'll be more than happy to do it <laughs> um, because this is all I have. And um, I own horses and a barn, and I'm poor. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, that's what we're going to do. And uh, let's see what happens, because um, a very nice friend of mine, I don't want to say we're friends, we've never met, but um, Graham over at Stable, um, Stable Horses and Rehab, Rehabilitation, Stable Horse Training and Rehabilitation. My gosh, my brain is like not there today. Um, he said it quite best. When you go to train, you have one thing in mind, usually. And say you want to get this particular subject worked out. Say they don't want to pick up a right lead or something like that. I don't know what that means, but they just, they don't want to go. But then you realize something else is going. So then you get the second one and the third one, which leads to a fourth one, which leads to something else on the fifth, which hopefully brings you back to the first thing that you wanted to to work out but then it's kind of moves over into the sixth subject and then the eighth and next thing you know you're hopefully trying to get back to square one about three hours later he said it better <laughs> i'll see if i can find the clip and, and put it in here it was, it was really quite funny um it was on one of his fireside chats last night so i was up until oh dear lord five uh, one o'clock in the morning when i said goodbye to him and everybody on his channel um, and then I stayed up for a little while just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that section right there. So 
as you can see the inside of the barn is still very wet from uh, the rain that we had yesterday two days ago so what that happened is this actually came from right here not from over there and not from all of this here we got that taken care of this came from underneath here which was here it's a giant puddle so husband is out right now getting some cinder blocks uh, not cinder blocks but um not those blocks where's the block where's the block that i asked him to go get um i think he took it with him because i don't see it here anyway it's a it's a retaining wall block and um yeah so i'm gonna put up a retaining wall and we're gonna try to fix that today but while i'm here i'm gonna take gracie out which is why i'm in red i've got my stuff on and um uh, let's go have some fun Temper tantrum. Huh? Temper tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to keep on going. <laughs> on today's episode of Up the Creek Without a Paddle. Driving Miss Daisy. Do it again. Make her go back.
So I'm back. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. Wasn't that fun? I mean, well, not like you were there with me, but you were kind of there with me. Um, now the sun is going down. We have a beautiful sunset. Actually, the sun sets over there, but it looks pretty over there. Um, I didn't get a lot of pictures because I was just having way too much fun. Um, she cantered really, really nicely for me. Um, and she was just like, okay. And she was super controlling. Oh, there goes the bird. Um, as far as coming back from a canter to a trot and to a walk, she did really, really good. She, um, super amazing. She's just so fun to, to ride. I really do like her. And her canter is so easy to ride. It's just like a cute little rocking horse. And, um, yeah, we had fun. So I also realized, um, why she backed up. Um, it's because she doesn't want to go where you want her to go. That's all. Um, she had a little bit of a problem earlier on out when we started, but once we got out a little bit, she was okay. Um, and then she had another little problem um, in the woods. And that was because I wanted to turn around and go back over the bridge. And she's like, no, I want to go home because I the boys are right there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So uh, after that, you just let her back up and she'll bump into a tree and she'll bump into all sorts of things. And she won't lurch forward, you know, like some horses, when they freak out, you know, they, um, they'll back up and they can't see what they're backing into and then they'll hit something and then they'll lurch right, like they'll jump forward like, oh my god, something just bit me in the butt. She's not like that at all. She's just like, oops, my bad. So, um, yeah, uh, I am going to finish putting uh, her tack away and putting my stuff away and, um, yeah, this is, a, what a great day. What an awesome day. I'm so excited for a Saturday. So excited for Friday. Oh my gosh, I'll, I'll see if I can get a little bit of video while I'm there. I don't know. I'm going to try to be respectful of the auction, but um, I'll see what I can do for you guys. So um, stay tuned for a video on Friday and definitely a video on Saturday. Um, maybe, maybe the Friday's video will be Saturday and the Saturday's video will be Sunday. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, sometimes I can get them out at the same day. Sometimes I get them out the second day. But um, I do try to get them out, you know, pretty much on time for you guys. So, um, yeah, there's the barn. Uh, there's a little bit of wet. I am pooped. I am going to get myself changed. And it's about 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 5.30 maybe. And uh, I'm going to make some supper. And you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you later at Summerfield Farm. And they're over there. Draft horses. See ya.